In this video, I'm gonna show you a simple yet effective method of color correcting your images. So typically you're either gonna have a orange cast on your image or a blue cast. The blue one is usually if your kind of settings are off when you're outside and yellow like orange is usually when your settings are off inside. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is go over and add a new layer. So this box with the plus in it, then we're gonna go edit and fill or shift F5, change contents to 50% gray and click OK. Then go over to your blend mode. So it says normal here, switch it to difference. Then we're gonna go down and add an adjustment layer. So this little half circle thing right here, click on that and put a threshold on it above there. And then just slide this slider until you have pretty much the last little bit of black left. So I'm gonna to go to about you know there. So this little black part right here is my most prominent part. I'm gonna go over to my eyedropper tool right here hold shift and click on that spot. And that's gonna put a marker that we're gonna come back to after. Then just hide or delete. And I'm actually gonna delete. So I'm gonna click on this one, hold control, click on the other one, and just trash those two layers that we added on. Then from this one, we're gonna add another adjustment layer. So back to the little half circle thing. This time it's gonna be a curves and we're gonna to go to the second picker. So this is the black picker, white picker. This is for a gray point. So click on that one, and then just go and click on that marker that we picked. So boom, right there. So that might fix it like perfectly, and it might not. So right now, mine's not perfect, perfect, and that's okay. If you still need to do more corrections, the next step is to click on your image layer, layer zero for me, hold control or command, and then click on the curves layer. So they're both selected. Then go control or command J to make a duplicate copy and then command or control E to merge them together. Then we're gonna right click and go up to convert to smart object. Then we'll head up to filter and go into camera raw filter where we'll do our final adjustments. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do in camera raw filter is go into the basic menu by clicking this little bracket triangle thing here. Click on that, it'll drop down but we're gonna go up to white balance and we're gonna change it from as shot to auto. Now that should make it look better, but in my case, you can see it went maybe too far blue. So I'm gonna just slide this temperature thing back a little bit. Maybe I might try some magenta back instead of green, but this is not where we're gonna do our main adjustments. We're then gonna close basic once you got it kind of looking okay and go down to color grading. And you're gonna see these three circles for midtones, shadows, and highlights. If you don't, then you might be clicked on just like one of these up here to be just one of them, like highlights. In that case, click back on the three-way one here to see all three. We're gonna start with shadows, and all you do is you click on this little circle. You can see I can move this circle wherever. We're gonna go kinda almost to the edge, and you're just gonna make a circle around the perimeter until you find kind of the zone that you feel is doing the best to fix it. So in this case, purple, that's not looking good. So I'm gonna keep going around, and I'm looking at my image and the circle, and that's looking pretty good somewhere over here. So the further you go out on the circle, the more extreme the change is gonna happen, and the closer you are to the middle, the less it's gonna affect your original image. So in my case, I'm gonna go pretty extreme right now. I'm gonna go kind of close to the outside like that. I think that looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna go over to my highlights, and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna cruise around the outside and see what looks good. So, oh, I think somewhere out there looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna leave the midtones because I think that looks pretty good, but you can do the same thing with the midtones. And then when you're kind of done those, then go down to blending and balance. I usually just leave blending, but I'm gonna adjust balance. Now, when you go to the right, it's gonna balance it towards whatever kind of color you pick for the highlights. And if you go left, it's gonna balance towards whatever color you pick for the shadows. So in my case, I kind of liked what I got so I'm gonna pretty much just leave it in the middle as well. And then when you're done this, I would just suggest going back up into basic and messing around with your exposure, contrast and stuff up here until you get the image looking the way that you want. I think mine's looking pretty good. Then when you're done, just click okay and you are pretty much done. But the reason why we made it a smart object at the start is because if you do notice that there's something off that you think you wanna fix, you can now just double click on camera raw filter right here, double click, and it'll go back into camera raw filter with the same settings that we had before. So they're all kind of saved here. So if I go back down to 
color grading, you can see that our same settings are there. But let's say you want to change something now. So let's say I want to go back up into basic and maybe like add some contrast or something to my image, you can do that. And then just click OK, and it's going to re change it on this image. So now just to close it out, let's just look at what we had to start. So I'm going to hold Alt and click on this layer zero. That's what our image started at. And that's what we fixed it to. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.